material in your hand and then start exploring. All right, let me show you a little, I don't know, jig I made, I guess, or a fence for the um, one inch by 30 inch belt sander from Harbor Freight. Um, what I wanted to do was get a consistent um, edge on some of my things that I'm working on. And I just didn't have it with that belt sitting back here flexing and um, it'd be all over the place. It's got a little steel plate back there, but it doesn't ride on it real well and you still have a lot of slop. So I figured I would maybe put a backer board on there. And uh, what also helps is to, because there's a slot in here on the original um, base for the belt when you change it, um, so this thing would drop down in there. So I figured, well, while I'm at it, might as well just create a, a nice table for it also. So all I got to do is just slip that back there. I really don't need to mount it. It rides back there really nice. And just let it run. And I'm able to set my work piece on there, kind of a zero clearance. And I'm able to do that with it, so. I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. I siliconed this base down to the original base just lightly. Um, so if I want to remove it, it's, it should be fairly easy to get off of there. Um, and I think I can still tilt the table um, if I needed to. I still can access to the handle under there, but uh, that really helps out a lot. It just gives me a cleaner edge um, to rest up against when I'm squaring uh, pieces up. So thought you might like it. Thanks for watching.